I was kindly invited to come and visit a small farm strip nestled between the Quantock Hills and Exmoor. Glebe Farm is not on any charts and is the kind of strip that personifies farm strip flying in the UK. It's short, gnarly, surrounded by fields and on a very undulating piece of land. They got a hangar. Yeah, there's something there, but I can't remember what. I think it's about halfway down. I'll just keep that point just on the left then. Yeah. A YouTube friend of mine, Giles Fowler, I'll leave a link to his channel above, operates a small Flexwing PB sub 70 kilogram microlight from here. And although he wouldn't be at the strip when we visited, we thought it'd be good to drop in on our way back to Northfield from a trip we had been on to Devon and check out the field. Yeah, that looks like it. Yeah, that looks like it over there. So, first problem finding that the place. Over the top of the hill as well, that's it. Okay. Good spottage. We had been given the coordinates from Giles and I'd seen the field on his YouTube channel but was warned that although the strip was over 400 metres long, only 320 metres was usable as the last 100 or so metres on the western side had a big downhill slope. I checked the dimensions on Google Maps and determined that the Piper Sport could operate from there safely even at all up weight. Gleep Farm traffic, Golf November Juliet, Charlie Zulu just entering the overhead Gleep Farm. Definitely. Oh, there's going to be a bloody combine harvester right on the short final. So, once actually finding the field, there's a combine harvester literally at the end of the runway. Combine harvesters at harvest time, yeah, they're going to be there, and it's something that you really do need to look out for uh, on visiting farm strips this time of year. Glee Farm traffic, got Charlie Zulu overhead, Glee Farm. The wind was from the south which would mean a crosswind landing and looking down at the field my preference was for the northwesterly runway which apart from the combine had a nice clear approach. From watching Giles' videos I'd worked out that the circuit would be to the south. I'll just throw it away if I don't think, uh, if I don't fancy it. Yeah. It's good to prepare for a go around early, especially at a strip you're unfamiliar with and with no chart to point out obstacles use your time in the circuit to ensure there's no unforeseens on the climb out should you abort the landing. Down fixed mixture, we ain't got any fuel pumps on, fuel sufficient for go around, hatched, harnessed. Keep your circuit as standard as possible and try not to lose sight of the runway. Make sure you do all your checks in good time. It's good manners to not overfly any villages or houses if you can, even if you've not been given any particular instructions. Nothing on the approach. My main concern when strip flying is power lines and wires which can be hard to see from the air. What do you think? Yeah, that 
hill will help getting out again. Yeah. Especially because there's absolutely nothing in front of it. Oh, well, there's a bloody combine. Yeah, apart from that. <laughs> Is he moving out of the way? Yeah, yeah, he's going left. Okay, property brakes off, landing carriage down, mixture switch, fuel pumps on, hatch, tarnished, runway's clear. The aircraft is now fully configured for a short field landing and we adjust the power to control the sink while slowing the aircraft in order to be as slow as safely possible by the time we cross the threshold. Not firm but fair. Yeah. So that's Glebe Farm, a lovely place in beautiful surroundings but remember it is strictly PPR. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Short field out.